Gingerbread is a big part of the holidays, and I'm going to make some individual baby cakes that you can serve as a very pretty dessert. I'm going to start off with one and two thirds cup of all-purpose flour, and I have a teaspoon of salt in here also. Very easy recipe to put together, it's just dump it all in. And I have one and a quarter teaspoons of baking soda. I have two teaspoons of ginger. You need a lot of ginger to get that ginger flavor. A teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Uh, one half teaspoon of nutmeg. And here's an interesting um, addition. One quarter teaspoon of five spice powder. Now, if you are somebody who does a lot of stir fry or oriental cooking, five spice will be familiar to you. If not, it's, it's a blend of five different spices that is just very, very fragrant. Um, not expensive to buy, so don't worry about it. Now, I've got those in there. Just give it a little whisk around. And I'm gonna add a half a cup of sugar and whisk that around. I'm just getting this started before we put it on the mixer. Okay, now, one egg. Again, I'm just dumping everything in. Half a cup of vegetable oil. And then we need a half a cup of molasses. And if you put the oil in first and then put the molasses in afterwards, it's so much easier to get the molasses out. As you can see, it's coming out really easy. And if you hadn't had the oil in there, half that molasses would probably still be in this cup. All right, let's get this on the mixer. My oven's on for 350 degrees, because you can see how fast this recipe is going. And the last addition to this, after I get this all mixed up, is one half cup of boiling water. And I'm going to just slowly add that in as I blend up this mixture. Now, let's talk about what we're going to bake them in. You can bake this in an eight inch square pan, which is traditional, or you can make these as cupcakes, keeping in mind that these rise a lot. So when you put them in the cupcake uh, papers, don't fill it three quarters, fill it one half. These will rise a lot, but we're not gonna use either of those today. We're going to use these disposable paper, cups. These are professionals have used these for years. They're very easy to find online nowadays. They come in every size of baking pan you can imagine. They come in small rounds like this, bigger rounds like this. They come in squares. They come in loaf pans. Um, you can buy them in tubes. If you buy these in a specialty store and they sell you 12 of them, you're going to pay a lot of money. So if you'd be better off buying them online, buy them in bulk. They don't go bad. And you don't have to grease these, just put them on a pan and you're all set to go. Now, let's, that's about done. So take this off, get our mixer out of here. Scrape that down a bit. And as I said, these rise a lot so I'm going to just fill these waxy cups with a uh, batter only half full and if you're a little bit neater than I am you won't get it all over the outside of the cup which will look better when you take them out of the oven there that's about half full All right, as you can see, I got six cakes out of this. If you make these in an eight inch square pan, you're gonna get one eight inch cake. If you put these in cupcake papers, you're going to get 12 cupcakes. So now I'm going to put them in my 350 degree oven for approximately 30 to 35 minutes until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. So we'll be back in about 30, 35 minutes.
Here are our gingerbread cakes, fresh from the oven. They smell delicious, but we can't do anything with them just yet. They're way too warm. So I'm gonna put them on the side to cool, and then I'm gonna show you how we're going to decorate them in a very cute way. Now it's time to finish our gingerbread cakes. They've cooled off, they smell good. We're going to make a topping with an eight ounce package of cream cheese that's been softened to room temperature. And to that I'm gonna add just a little splash of vanilla. Pure vanilla, please. Makes a difference. All right, I have my whip attachment. And the reason we're going to use the whip attachment is we're going to whip some cream into this. And while that's whipping, I'm going to slowly add a half a cup of regular white sugar. I want that to really combine before I add my cream. In my uh, measuring cup here, I have one and three quarter cups of heavy whipping cream. So I'm going to slowly add. And now we'll continue whipping it until it becomes like whipped cream. Let's check that. Close. Add another minute or so. There's our consistency of whipped cream. And now a piping bag with a fancy tip on it. You don't have to do this. You can spoon it on if you want to, but I think it'll look prettier this way. Putting it in a glass acts as my extra hands. Almost had a mess there. All right, let's try just this part. I'll just pipe on some nice cream here. These will go into the refrigerator after you've piped everything on and decorated them and let them sit in there so the uh, cream cheese part of it will set up even more. Okay. And now, hold on, had to wipe my hands of all that stuff. Now I have some little gingerbread men that I made last week and I froze them because I knew I was going to be making these. And we put one of those in each one. And then I have some little red and green sprinkles, which I'll put a few on each one, make it look even merrier. And there you go, a really nice little individual dessert for your guests for the holidays.